Hey YouTube, Friedrich here. Today I'm back with another quick tip for Grease Pencil Blender. And I think this tool has the potential to revolutionize 2D frame by frame animation. You may ask, what, that sounds crazy? And I think it is crazy. Let's hop into it. So here we are in Blender. And the tool that I want to show you today is the Sculpt tool, which you find under Object Mode, Sculpt Mode. And I've set up a shortcut C to select that and drawing mode Q and E for edit mode. But you can also press probably tab and then you have the full range here to select from. Let's go in and clean some of these messy drawings. Go on drawing mode, select your brush and then normally what happens, you'll never come up with a perfect circle, right? And maybe you want to have a perfect circle for that. You change to sculpt mode and here you are you have different options these are all like various things that the sculpting would do i normally use this one push and pressing f you can change the brush size of the your tool depending on it you might have want to have it really big or small i take it like this and then you can just manipulate your drawing until you're really happy with your line so the small ones to connect them it's a bit more fidgety but you can get there okay let's leave it like that and then we have the next drawing again changing back to the sculpt tool and i can manipulate my shape the way i want it to be how cool is that and then I would like it to come up actually not in a ball, but in a triangle. So let's draw a triangle. Again, not the perfect triangle that I maybe would like to achieve, but I'm going in and changing things. Once I'm happy with those, what I can do is just duplicate the first keyframe and instead of like redrawing it, just maybe in edit mode, move it to a different position like here but now i want to slightly give it a bit more more shape than just the roundness so i go back to my edit mode to my sculpt tool and just make it a tiny bit longer and maybe move this one a bit further down Hoppa. duplicate edit mode move it I don't know this draw actually. And the same I do with this one or maybe even rotate it now for this <laughs> might be a bit tricky but again I'm using that And I would like to ease it in a bit more. So I'm having one more frame here. Slightly rotate that and change the shape a little bit. And 45. And now the timing and spacing will be a bit weird, but let's see without showing the other layers. I think the sculpt tool has so much potential because like, first of all with cleanup, whenever you make mistakes, you can just change them without redrawing and you, you save a lot of time. And then for in-betweening, especially on those very tight ones, like in between here, I could squeeze in easily three, four more drawings. And these, these in-betweens are the ones that really take time where you like on a triangle, obviously it's fine, but if it's a head turn or something, 
then these are the ones when you have to be really tight that take the most time yeah here you have it the sculpt tool in grease pencil blender i think one of the most powerful tools that i've seen in a long time for frame by frame animation let me know what you think of it if you've been using it before and enjoy bye bye that wraps it up i hope you could take something away from this video if you want to learn more about blender and my keyboard shortcuts that i set up for 2d animation feel free to check out the link in the description below leading you to my gumroad course teaching you everything that you would need to know to start using blender as a 2d frame by frame tool without the 3d parts of it i hope to see you soon on this channel with a lot more tutorials and quick tips all around blender and other 2d animation tools until then Bye-bye.